Needless to say, if you haven't finished season two of Umbrella Academy and you're watching this video, what are you doing? Go finish the season. Don't rob yourself of this experience. We here at Key Issues think that this season is one of the best comic book seasons of all time. Go check it out, come back, and watch this video afterwards. Now, everything from this point on is going to be a massive spoiler for season two of Umbrella Academy, so don't say you weren't warned. But before we begin, we wanted to remind you that we have a few giveaways going on for Umbrella Academy Season 2. We're giving away multiple copies of Umbrella Academy Volume 1, and all you have to do to enter is follow us on Twitter. Our personal accounts are pinned in the comments section below. That's it. The ending of Season 2 has undoubtedly left you with a tremendous amount of questions, but before we get to all of them, let's do a super fast recap of some of the key elements of the season, just so we're all on the same page. We're going to do this lightning round style. Umbrella Academy gets teleported back in time by Five to avoid a world-ending apocalypse created by their sister Vanya. The team was scattered throughout 1963. Luther ends up working for organized crime, Klaus starts a cult, Allison gets involved in the civil rights movement, Vanya, who's now an amnesiac, ends up on a farm helping care for a boy and her family, then she gets romantically involved with the mother, Sissy. Diego gets locked up in an insane asylum after trying to prevent JFK's assassination and falls in love with Lila, who ends up being a Temps double agent working for the Handler. Oh, the Handler's also still alive, more on that in a second. As for Five, when he arrives in 1963, Hazel informs him that in six days the world's gonna end, again, unless the Umbrella Academy stops it. He spends the whole season wrangling the family into fixing the end of the world, a task that leads him into direct confrontation with an older version of himself and his father. Reginald Hargreaves, the eccentric billionaire and creator of the Umbrella Academy, is of course still alive and super shady and nefarious, meeting with a secret cabal called the Majestic Twelve, and he secretly guides the world towards history-altering events. The Handler does survive getting shot in the head, but is demoted at the Temps Agency. The acting leader we meet is a hyper-intelligent goldfish named Carmichael. She doesn't really take this too well and decides to spring a coup d'etat to gain control of the Temps and become the most powerful person in history. She dispatches new assassins, three brothers called the Swedes, to kill the Umbrella Academy, and most of the brothers die. We also learn that in the past, she had an older version of Five kill Lila's parents by faking a kill order, all in order to gain access to Lila, who is a superpowered person like the Umbrella Academy. Vanya almost causes another apocalypse when she's captured by the FBI and interrogated. Her subsequent superpowered freakout would have prevented JFK's assassination, which would have led to the US versus Russia and a nuclear showdown ending the world. The ghost of Ben sacrifices himself in order to save her, thus allowing him to move into the afterlife. The team comes together, prevents the apocalypse, and stops the handler, and then the team returns to 2019. When they arrive, they find out the future has been irreparably changed. Their father, Reginald Hargreaves, is still alive, the Umbrella Academy doesn't exist anymore and has been replaced by the Sparrow Academy. Oh, and their brother Ben? He's still alive, and in this version of reality, he's leading the Sparrow Academy. Are we all on the same page now? Great, let's theory craft. Let's start with the biggest and craziest part first, after all, that's why you're here, the Sparrow Academy, boys and girls. Let's discuss what we think happened here because you're probably wondering what happened and who these people are. Well, fortunately, we have a Sparrow Academy comic origins video coming, so check that out, but as most time travel stories introduce an element of the butterfly effect, i.e. you go back in time, you make a change, and no matter how small that change is, it may impact the future in a major way, well, we think we've seen that here with the Umbrella Academy impacting quite a bit in their journey throughout 1963. But we do think we figured out what led to specifically the creation of the Sparrow Academy over the Umbrella Academy in this alternate timeline. I guess for a lack of a better description, the Umbrella Academy created the Sparrow Academy. Throughout the first half of Season 2, the Umbrella Academy is desperately trying to get in contact with their father, Reginald Hargreaves, in order to explain to him that they believe his actions may end up causing a global apocalypse. In the process, Hargreaves meets all of his future children at a dinner that he arranges, and this scene is especially important because we see Reginald's disapproval of what his future children will become. He can't imagine that his training leads to such irresponsibility, and if I was a betting man, this is what's going to lead to the creation of the Sparrow Academy. Hargreaves is obviously a smart man, slash alien, person. You know what, we'll come back to that in a couple minutes. Hargreaves is a very smart thing. 
there is another scene at the beginning of episode 10 that also tells us a lot about the expectations he placed on his children throughout their lives. In a flashback, we see Hargreaves berating his children for allowing Ben to die on a mission. And as a smart person slash being thing, he would of course course correct in order to prevent this from happening. The easiest way to do that would be to alter the team of heroes he uses when he creates the Sparrow Academy, thus making them a stronger team. This also prevents Ben, an undoubtedly very powerful character, from dying and correcting one of Hargreaves' biggest losses throughout history. Now, back to Hargreaves being insanely intelligent. Obviously, he has ulterior motives for the future of humanity, and we see some of these plans when Grace finds his super secret room, which is never a good thing to have. Within that room are a number of plans and documents related to items that we'll see in Season 3, and if you want to learn more about these, we're going to have an entire video breaking down everything that's in that room. So I'm not going to do that here, but keep a lookout for that video because there's going to be a ton of stuff in that video that we cover from just inside of that room that's going to give us a lot of clues on Season 3. Next, let's answer one of the most frequently asked questions we've had in the past. Where are other superpowered people that were born on that same day in 1989? Well, now we know. Lila, Diego's girlfriend and super agent that was groomed from childhood to be a master assassin, is another superpowered person. Her ability is fairly simple to understand. She can mimic any other superpowered person's ability, but only one at a time. It's this ability that allows her to almost single handedly take down the entire Umbrella Academy. However, in the last few minutes of the show, she learns the truth about her mother and father's death. The handler had five kill them in order to gain access to her. The Umbrella Academy ends up offering her a home as an adopted sister with them, but instead she flees somewhere in time. Where will she end up? I think the obvious answer is that she'll continue her romance with Diego and act as a reserve member of the team in some capacity. Or she could end up as a villain trying to get revenge on Five for her family's murder. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Those are the two most logical paths. But keep in mind that this character does not exist in the comics, so I really don't have any future knowledge of where she's going to end up. She's created for the show, so her future is pretty much wide open, but I do think she'll end up remaining with Diego in some capacity. As for Season 3, where do we think it's going to be heading? Obviously, the Umbrella Academy comics are the basis for each of the seasons so far. The first miniseries, Apocalypse Suite, was the basis for Season 1. The second miniseries, Dallas, was the basis for this season. And of course, if I was a betting man, it seems pretty obvious that the last miniseries, Hotel Oblivion, will be the basis for Season 3. This miniseries focuses on a hotel in the fictional realm of After Space that houses a number of the most dangerous villains that the Umbrella Academy has ever defeated. The Hotel Oblivion also acts as a prison for these villains, and it's been overseen by this crazy powerful being called the Scientific Man. We think this might be the basis of Season 3, but instead of housing some of the Umbrella Academy's biggest villains, the hotel will instead be occupied by other superpowered beings that were born in 1989 that Hargraves could not gain control of or ones that lead a life of crime. Now one last person we want to mention in this video is Harlan, the boy that Vanya cared for on the farm. As we see throughout the season, Vanya is directly responsible for accidentally giving Harlan superpowered abilities, but this is the first time we see this capability in the show. Vanya eventually takes back these abilities, but towards the end of the final episode we do see that Harlan has retained some form of telekinesis and that he's learning to use it. Perhaps in the future, Harlan grows up to become a threat to the Umbrella Academy. After all, he would have a vendetta against them, seeing that they caused his father's death. There is a character in the comics by the name of John Perseus, whose father is a supervillain, and it could end up being that they mix the character of Harlan with the character of Perseus from the comics in order to establish him as a longtime threat to the Umbrella Academy or the Sparrow Academy in this future version. And that's really about it for this breakdown. We want to know what you guys have questions about, though. What did you see that you might have a question about that we didn't cover in specific? Are there any theories that you have for Season 3? If you do, drop them below, and maybe we can make a fan theory video picking out some of our favorites. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to check out our playlist on the character breakdowns from everybody from Season 1 of Umbrella Academy. We're going to have a ton more characters introduced during this season that we're going to have character breakdown videos for, including The Monocle, Reginald Hargreaves, Pogo, Hazel and Cha-Cha, and more. So definitely make sure you like and subscribe to get that content. We would greatly appreciate it. This has been Nick with Key Issues, and remember the motto, Umbrella Academy over everything.